The St. Vincent football team traveled to Beaver Falls to complete their rare home-and-home -home series for the season with Geneva College. After a fumble gave Geneva good field position, the Bearcat defense was strong. Delmonico split to the wide side left. Handoff Machete coming right. Bearcats penetrate, and he'll get tossed for a loss back at around the six-yard line. Motion man is barred from left to right. Toss to Machete. Bearcats penetrate and blow it up back at the 12-yard line. That was Tommy Quiron. No, Alex Rowan. Rowan Alex Rowan, Rowan the yes. strong safety out of Knox. A missed field goal ended the drive, but the Bearcat offense had some bad luck of their own. Split near side. Smith back, looking left, throws on the slant, through the hands of Walker and intercepted. Picked off by Rick Kolasar, and he's down the right sideline at the 20, the 15. Tries to spin at the 10, it'll be down just shy of the 10-yard line. This time, Geneva took advantage of the short field, scoring on a two-yard run by Matt Dean to take a 7-0 lead. However, throughout the rest of the quarter, the Bearcat defense continued to shine. Two to the left, to the wide side. Here come the Bearcats blitzing. Girardi is hit by Ribeiro and down back at the 37-yard line. Girardi takes the snap, fakes, rolls right, and he's thrown for a loss by John Jackson. Quick penetration up front by the Bearcats. Lost the right hash, second down and 15. Girardi looking left flat, throws to Barge, and the Bearcats are out there. It's another loss, Armando Fortunato. The sophomore from Brockway sniffing it out, getting off the Sammy Thurston block. In the second quarter, still down 7 to nothing, the Bearcat offense moved the ball thanks to the efforts of quarterback Jake Smith. Stand-up defensive end. Smith on the quarterback draw straight ahead across 35. First down to the 41-yard line. Field position. Jake Smith out of the shotgun on third down and 10. Looking right. Scrambles ahead. He's got room to run. He'll have the first down across the 50-yard line. He's tackled as he gets to the Geneva 46. It's nice to see a Bearcat quarterback, quarterback making plays Christian. with their feet. Yeah. Looks like Lochner to the right. Smith on first down. Stepping, throwing for Shelton on the right side. He goes up. He makes the catch at the 10, and he's tackled out of bounds at about the 7-yard line. That time, Shelton went up and high-pointed the football and took it away from the defensive back, Joss Vermeulen. From the gun, backs to both sides, split receivers to each direction. Here comes the blitz. Smitty rolls right. Now stops, throws back left. He's got a receiver open. It's a touchdown for freshman Alan Niederer. Roll right, throw back left. The Bearcats are a point away from tying it up with 2.13 to play in the first half. Niederer's catch, followed by Aaron Jones' extra point, tied the game at 7 with just over 2 minutes left in the half, and the teams went into the break tied. The Bearcat defense continued to cause trouble for Geneva in the third quarter. Girardi with a long cadence, handoff Machete, bounces left, Bearcats get penetration, and they'll stop him for no gain on the play. Machete Comedy. in motion behind the backfield, quick pitch to him, penetration from the Bearcats, Armando Fortunato, he fumbles the football, and there's a fight for it, and a maybe Bearcat football. Yes, it is! At the 24-yard line, Josh Catalano ends up with the football, Armando Fortunato made the play. Right, wide to the right is Opachin. Girardi's back to pass, looking near side, being chased as he comes to the sideline, throws in traffic, Thurston makes the catch, fumbles the football, and it's picked up by David Ribeiro of St. Vincent. Ribeiro still on his feet, is down at the 36-yard line. Thurston made the catch, and several Bearcats hit him hard, and the ball came out. Back behind Girardi, who's in the shotgun from the near hash. David looking to pass, blitz from the backside, and sacked by Armando Fortunato back at the 7-yard line. Finally, the Bearcats took the lead, and it was the defense that made it happen. People even play better. Our up front seven in the box. Quick kick on third down, and Girardi's kick is blocked, and it's caught out of the air by Tommy Quire. Touchdown, Bearcats! Geneva tries to quick punt it, and the Bearcats, someone up front, got a hand on it. It went end over end right into the hands of Tommy Quire at about the 10 yard line, and he returns it for a score. With just over five minutes left in the third, Geneva answered back with their biggest play of the game and took a 14 to 13 lead. Hand off to the fullback, Dean straight ahead, 40, look out, going right to the 35, the 30, Dean to the 25, the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Geneva, and we're tied at 13. On the final play of the third quarter, down 17 to 13, St. Vincent started what would turn out to be a successful drive. Smith from the shotgun, second and 20, throws across the middle, caught by Mash Antonio, room to run, 45, heading up the left side, gets the 10 back. Knocked out of bounds on the far side at the 47-yard line. It'll 39 trips right. Smith, pressure. Steps up, has room to run left, and here he comes. He's across midfield. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and he's down to the 15-yard line. What to say about his feet? 
<laughs> between Gonzalez and Mahalko from the left hash. Geneva shows blitz. Smith back. Pressure throws across the middle. Nieder has got the catch at the five. He's into the end zone for a touchdown. His second catch of the year. His second touchdown of the year. Both here tonight. However, on the ensuing kickoff, A.J. Delmonico took the kickback all the way, and after a lengthy conference determined that a Geneva personal foul occurred after the touchdown, the officials ruled that Geneva had regained the lead at 24 to 20. After SVC fumbled the kickoff, Geneva's ground game took over, adding a pair of late touchdowns as they put up 21 fourth quarter points for the come from behind victory. From the left hash, Girardi gives to Dean trying to bounce it left side. He'll get the corner turned and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Matt Dean's third touchdown of the night. 